It's an unusual setup here. The uh, track used to run out that way and then come in here to service the uh, adit that you can see right there. We'll take a close look at that in a minute. In the meantime, I just wanted to show you some of the uh, deposits that have built up here because they're pretty extraordinary. All this iron is very heavy uh, and iron in this area. You can see how it's just built up there like uh, stalactites or like Bryce Canyon or someplace like that. I've never seen a build up this extreme. Um, you know, that's maybe 30 feet down to there. I'm not saying all this is built up, but you know, this covers a good amount of it. And then uh, to add it over here. See more deposits in front of the adit. The adit's built right into hard rock, which is nice. That's uh, undoubtedly why it's still open. Although you can see the deposits have built up almost to the top. So, uh, you know, maybe I can squeeze in there, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, this is like the uh, the Evans or Monte Cristo Evans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fucking. Like this shit goes to the very top. Actually, right here in the foreground. Yeah. The do you see this rock where the yeah. light is right yeah. now? The bottom of that is is red. The bottom of that we just I drained. I see that. I see. Yeah, that's right. That Dude. is. That's. That is nuts, dude. And this is, uh, if anything. Just as low, if not lower, than when we came last time. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, it's drained quite a bit from just the winter. Yeah, that's that's a shame. We're in the middle of a fairly large uh, hydraulic mining area. You can probably see the uh, the rock piles there, but there's actually an adit up here uh, that punched into the plaster as well, evidently. So we'll go check that out. And here is the adit, evidently an older one, given how much it's eroded. However, there is a small very very small opening right there that I'm going to squeeze down to explore for you guys. That is probably the smallest opening I've ever squeezed into to get inside of a mine. Um, looks like it might have been worth it though as you can see how much this opens up in front of me or I should say how far. Um, definitely a sketch factor here given the fact that it's uh, that placer rather than the hard rock. Uh, in fact, I can feel little bits of dirt dribbling down in there right now. And uh, these timbers were obviously put here for a reason. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, carrying into the attic. These timbers are really old, obviously. A bit muddy back here. This is interesting. Everything is gone around this. It's just the uh, frame of the timber left. Okay, getting a bit muddy. I can hear running water back there. Sorry guys, I'm kind of slopping through the mud and water here. It's not very easy. And I hear a lot of water rushing up ahead. I may be getting real wet on this one, unfortunately.
still going. are soaking wet now. There is no avoiding it, I'm afraid. That rock stuck in the side right there. That's interesting. Or that big beast right there, look at that. That's interesting. So I hear a lot of rushing water getting close. I think that's the source right there. Yeah, that is coming down there. And coming down, there's a little bit of trees. Yeah, I might be wrong. Yeah, that's rock. I did say I'm not out of weird angle, but I thought it might have been true. So that's rock. And, uh, Actually, it's like a sweet spot near the, uh, where that river gravel meets the bedrock, so like, you might have uh, gotten close to that there. Still running back. And looks like we might got a collapse right here. Uh, something running off this way. Uh, see a pool of water there and something back there. You have to go check it out in a minute. In the meantime, actually, this might. Oh, that's interesting. See the uh, the spacer right there. They use that to uh, put the rail, like the space where they should put the rails, keep them at the right distance. Interesting. Got a big rock on the side right there. You can see a drill mark in that. This actually might go to the left. I thought it was a collapse, but it might not. Yeah, it goes to the left. Uh, try like gobbing. You can see the gobbing and then you can see the timbers uh, sort of holding back the gobbing and also supporting the uh, the top or the back of the adit. As I call it, okay. Keeps going. Man, that's ugly looking. Man, this is bad. Uh, see the gobbing right there? Um, I'm going to turn the camera off to squeeze through there and I'll pick up on the other side. I was just filming from over there a moment ago and I've made my way over that obstacle there. And in front of me, you can see this is the end right here, except that they, uh, they dug down a ways in the uh, classroom material here, looking for some good stuff in there, obviously. Uh, but that's not a cave-in, that is, uh, in fact, the end uh, of this drift. So there's still another one that we bypassed on the right on the way in. So I will head back and check that out. I just came from that direction, and I'm back where that spacer is for the rail, and also at this uh, drift running off this way. This is another one where I'm going to turn the camera off to get over this, so I'll join you over there. I was standing over there just a moment ago, and this in front of us is backfill. That's not ground fall. Uh, I was put there intentionally. And I'm in that section we're looking in on, and there's a wind right here. Not a large one, but still a wind. Dropping down there. And I may have some difficulty getting across it, actually. The uh, drift continues there, and I think it stops right there. I think that's the end of it, but I'm not 100% certain because it looks like it might go a little ways to the right, um, but I'm really not sure about those winds. 
it was too risky to try and bring the uh, the camera and the stabilizer across that winds and so I left them here and then sort of crab walked along the sides to get over there I did make it and when I got over there I realized that I had forgotten out my phone in my pocket so I wished I risked my phone getting across that so it's kind of a moot point for the camera but anyway I did get over there and it does indeed keep running for maybe another 100, 125 feet or so until it terminates into sort of a, a deep pocket like the, uh, the end of the main drift. Pretty featureless except for uh, that stuff right there and then interestingly um, at the base there they have those boards they used to put the strips of metal on, sort of the low budget rail that they would um, use to save money, you know, the, the heavy duty all metal rails are fairly expensive and so they would put these uh, pieces of wood down run the strips of metal on top and that was a lot cheaper and lighter I took some pictures with my phone, not great quality, but I took some pictures I'll uh, put them in the video for you so you can see what it looked like This view is just around the bend looking back at the gobbing we saw from the other side You can see the wooden rails with the metal strips as well as one of those spacers in the foreground This is a view looking down the drift it was fairly rough as you can see. Very end of the drift here. I had to brace myself against the side and crawl over this pit of water to get this picture. Not easy. At it we just explored is right there. But I wanted to show you this skid that we found right here. Because you don't see anything like this very often. Uh, see bits of metal and stuff here. And you can tell it's a skid by the way the uh, metal comes out like that and bends and then that strip running off down like that would have uh, run along the ground it's pretty interesting obviously connected to the mine but I'm not sure how they used it that attic we just explored is uh, up that road a little ways there maybe 150 feet and folded down a little ways here this remains of some shovels and stuff right there to uh, what's left of this building here and we think it was the wash house um, for several reasons there's a bunch of sandy material over there and it looks like it's got two separate levels and then just based on the size of the boards and that kind of things that the kind of stuff here and some of the metal pieces we think like I said this was a wash house plus you've got these huge uh, piles of you know the hydraulic cobbles so I think this was the wash house. Nothing much left, is there? 